So how many people here know who I am? Pretty much everybody? For those of you who don't, I'm, my name is Priest. I've been doing DEF CON now for 18 years as a goon. Uh, one of the public things I do is what's called spot the Fed. In the old days, before the ratio was 30% federal to attendee, and of course the cell phone goes off, uh, it was kind of a competition to spot the Fed. Now it's just like shooting ducks in a barrel, so we don't do it that much anymore. The I am the Fed t-shirt is one of the most coveted shirts in the, int <laughs> in the intelligence community. That's them now telling me that, uh, hello? I'm on, I'm on stage right now. Can I call you back? Thank you very much. <clears throat> My nine-year-old doesn't take no for an answer. Uh, and he would have kept ringing and ringing and ringing. It's so popular that they actually will steal from each other to get this t-shirt. And we had feds throwing other feds under the bus. <laughs> so you do, uh, would someone like to spot the fed and they'd jump up together and you'd look at both of them and it was almost like they were twins because it was the, you know, stand up sir? Yes, you sir. Stand up on the chair so they can see you. Notice the muscle structure, short hair, khaki pants with cargo. That was the stock uniform. They all kind of dressed the same. The only thing missing from there is the gun bag. Uh, and you know, so what do you, you get into questioning and it would turn out that they're both from the same FBI field office and we're conspiring for the shirt. So I guess there was a speaker cancellation so we're actually bringing back the program. Thank you all for coming. Uh, we'll, go, uh, we'll go pretty quick here. So I'm gonna open up the floor. Does anyone think that there is a, if they're kind of, feds are kind of like Canadians. They walk among us, but do you really know who they are? <laughs> uh, so would anyone like to try and spot the Fed in the audience? This is the audience participation part, by the way. Anyone have any guesses? Yes, sir. This is kind of like back in old Soviet Russia where you'd announce your neighbors. <laughs> I think the Russian word for snitch is snoichek, so. That guy's the most square person. So you mean the guy in the black shirt? The, that kid right there? Stand up, sir, come on down. Come on down, sir, you have to come too. Pull up your pants. Yes, you. Anyone else want to try a spot the Fed? We can do a couple of times. Come up on stage. I don't bite, I promise. Anybody else want to try one? You too, sir. You're not very bright, are you, sir? <laughs> yes, sir, you. Anyone else? Yes, sir. There's two of you. Yes, yes. You can't spot each other. The guy with the button down shirt? That one? I'm sorry? They lie, by the way. <laughs> are, are your parents married? Uh, they're actually both dead. I'm sorry? They're both dead. But were they married? Yes. To each other? <laughs> Not a fed. <laughs> Not a fed. Don't ask, don't tell. Thank you, sir. Anyone else want to try? Yes, ma'am. You don't just get to randomly pick people that you don't like. That, that gentleman right there? Come on down. You too, ma'am, it's once again. I thought we covered this at first. You, you both come down. Now, another thing you can tell is how they walk, because if there's a gun belt, one side tends to stick out a little bit more. So, take a microphone, everybody, or at least two of you. Perf perfectly the people who are spotting, not our feds. That means you, there we go. Okay, ma'am, you need to pick up a microphone as well. There we go. All right. So what makes you, we'll start with you, what makes you think he's a Fed? Um, he just seemed the most uh, square dressed, uh, very vanilla within my field of vision. And um, that's just a telltale sign for me. Just a telltale sign. And I don't really think there is a Fed in the audience at, in 2015 for the talk cancellation. If it was more populated, if there were more people here, if you didn't announce it ahead of time, they've had time to leave, but that's just my guess. Do you remember what the name of the talk was? By the way, that's a tip off if they're running out of the room and they say spot the Fed, probably a Fed. 
Ma'am, what do you think this gentleman right here is fit? Mainly his stature. He's just trying to play it cool, but like... This is not date the Fed, this is spot the Fed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm just going with my gut. Although, like, funny story about that, we did, have, we did have one spot the Fed, and this can tell you about the Air Force. Um, we brought him up on stage, we did the whole drill, and I said, so how did you know he was a Fed? And she said, well, I slept with him yesterday. <laughs> and I pulled his wallet and checked his creds. And then she pulled out her, his creds. Now, I'm sorry, is there someone from the OSI in the audience? Are you out there? Come on, raise your hand, don't be afraid. I know you're out there, come on, help me out here. So can someone who's maybe associated with the OSI say what happens when you lose your creds? Just shout it out. It's a bad day in the office. So there's a Fed. <laughs> once, once again, not very bright. So, yeah, it's a very bad thing when you lose your creds. It's almost as bad as losing your gun. So that's how she identified him. So just because he looks that way, and the fact that he's setting a parade rest, and wearing tennis shoes, and, and wearing tennis shoes with black socks. Yeah, he's okay. like ready to run if he needs to. Like he's ready to run if he needs to. Go ahead, you, you had a suggestion? I was just gonna say that um, uh, of all the tracks that have run in this particular room today, uh, the one that I would expect Fez to show up to is do-it-yourself nuke-proofing. <laughs> Just saying, it was like if there was going to be a Fed in the audience, it, it might not have anything to do with spot the Fed. So you can ask them questions to have, see if you can identify them as Feds. What would what beyond the way they look, which is profiling? Shame on you. Uh, makes you think no idea. You just decide to pick him, huh? Yeah. Okay. So let's throw it up to the audience. The audience have any questions? Are the ask we're, we're, the objective is to figure out if they're Feds or not. So you can ask them any question you want. Anything at all. Clearing. Do you have a clearing? Clarence, are you from Israel, sir? Are you from Are you from out of uh, out of the United States? Where are you from? Netherlands. I'm sorry. Netherlands. 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 Do you have a clearance? Not anymore. Not anymore. Do you have a clearance? Not anymore. Okay. Well, in that case, that kind of ends the game because since neither one was clearance, they're probably not Feds. I'm very sorry. Yeah. So that's how we spot the Fed. Uh, I don't know, am I vamping for time or are you actually going to dump to another talk? Is he north or? of the river or south of the river? Say again? Is he north of the river or south of the river? Is who north or south of the river? Fed. Which Fed? <laughs> I have no idea what he's asking. See, he's playing stupid. Are you north of the river or south of the river is what he's asking. I don't know what he has no idea what, what you're saying, sir. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> yes, sir. Inside or outside the beltway? Oh, I'm way outside. Way outside the beltway. Yeah, same. Like, like. That doesn't mean he's not a fed. It just means he has no one. Which Which generally would make, yes, sir. Have they ordered a copy of their DD214? Have you ordered a copy of your DD214 or do you have a copy of your DD214? No, because I have no idea what that is either. No. Okay. Another fed over there, by the way. <laughs> Anyone else have any questions? Do you have a defined benefit pension? Do you have a defined? <laughs> Stand up, sir. <laughs> I think I know you. Do you have a defined benefit pension? Nope. No. Once again, probably not feds. So we'll go for one more rest. Sorry, guys. It's, they're not feds. So you can put down. Thank you for playing, guys. Oh, thank you. That's good of you. Yes, ma'am. If what person's a Fed? On the table? The camera is the cameraman a Fed? <laughs> no, he's a union man. So maybe New Communist Party, I'm not sure. I, I can tell you honestly there are Feds in the room. I know them because they came in to see me do this. So if if you want to look if they haven't already run out of the room. We can try one more if you want to try one more. Okay, so in the audience, do you see anyone around you who might be a Fed? They come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. You nominate what guy? This is not a democracy, sir. <laughs> that gentleman right there, come on down. Once again, khaki shorts, tennis shoes, no body fat. Very tall. 
It's got a what? Describe the watch. Pick up the mic, okay. It is a Casio F91W, a really small digital watch. He's a convict, sir, not a fit. <laughs> Unless he's a pomegranate. Pom? Are you from Australia? No. Oh, where are you from? New Zealand. Sorry, New Zealand is close. Kiwi. Do you think the All Blacks are going to take it this year? I don't care about rugby. Not, a, not from New Zealand. Don't tell them that. <laughs> Once again, no, not a fat. He's from New Zealand. I'm sorry. Unless you're part of New Zealand service. You're killing me, Bones. You're killing me. So what, I'm, I'm going to drop a third hint. There are at least three of them in the audience right now. Uh, goons can't spot feds. That's called insider trading. Somebody else not picking the man that was just picked. Once again, goons can't pick it. Oh, I see. God, y'all suck. Well, he's got the outfit for it. By the way, something that flipped me out this year. The FBI generally does not allow facial hair. They're kind of weird that way. Several FBI agents this year have beards. They're well-groomed beards, but they're beards. And cap teeth, too. We got the mic. Go for it. That means you too, sir. Ask him. Don't go argue a fed. That kind of ruins it. Uh, let's see. Were you worried when there was uh, the the breach of um, OPM. Yeah, thank you. There wasn't a breach at OPM. He's right. Breach, breach. Do you want to get hired a Chinese guy? <laughs> What's that? You need to what? They hired a Chinese assistant administrator. There wasn't a breach. <laughs> <laughs> they go away. Sir, DEF CON doesn't, in, doesn't tolerate intolerance of various ethnically diverse individuals. Mumbo mumbo legal mumbo jumbo. Please don't Twitter that I'm racist. Uh, no, 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 not again. Um, did you get okay? Did you get the first letter from OPM? No, I did not get a letter. Okay. Did you get an email? Uh, no email. <laughs> okay. Are you authorized to carry a concealed weapon? Are you authorized to carry a concealed weapon? Yes, in my home state. Yes, in his home state. Are you allowed to carry it on an airplane? No. Yes. If I were to punch you right now, would I be committing a misdemeanor or a felony? <laughs> <laughs> now that's the kind of question we're looking for. I, I really don't know the difference. <laughs> not a fed. Not a fed. Or he's, he's very good at hiding. So were you not worried about the breach? Oh, I was worried. Why were you worried, sir? Because I have a clearance. Uh, see, one, one, one so you can trick him into it. I never got a letter, but I don't know why. That's because they're doing a second badge. And they're working on the, con they're working on the contractor right now. I, I didn't get one either. So, I didn't anyway, thank you for participating in Spot the Fed. Four months. <laughs> four months, at least four months. Yeah. Notice the haircut, short on the sides, a little bit longer on the top. Front towards enemy on the shirt. Um, <laughs> I was like, you too? Because I, yeah, I have the right front on mine. <laughs> I actually got up this morning, had this on backwards, and was bitching until someone pointed out it was backwards. Uh, there will be a bigger spot the Fed at uh, Hacker Jeopardy. Uh, it'll be a little more interactive and entertaining. Uh, we kind of did this last minute because we had a speaker cancellation. Thank you all for participating. Thank you all for being good sports. <laughs> Thank you.